For our first practice with Java, we're going to work with JavaScript embedded directly into the HTML. There are two places in the HTML that you're going to work with JavaScript. You can put it in the head section, or you can put it directly in the main body, which is what we're doing today. This is tr really not traditional or the best way to do JavaScript in most cases, but you will frequently have to at least put an event trigger in the body to call your JavaScript. In this case, we aren't calling external JavaScript, we're executing the JavaScript right where the event happens. It's very important to understand that in JavaScript, almost everything is triggered by an event. The event could be the page loading, so it doesn't feel like you're doing anything, but usually it's some sort of event. So we're working with button events here, and we're going to be working with on click. You'll see that we have three different sections here, three different divs, and you'll also notice that I'm using the W3Schools framework. I'll use that throughout the whole class. So that's why I'm doing the styling. Styling doesn't really matter here. So in panel one, we're just going to have the panel disappear and then appear again. So what we're doing is we're changing the panel style element. So if you look, we have a button class doesn't matter, on click, document, get element by ID 1. So I named each panel with an ID. Each panel has an ID of, a na of 2. We have, uh, this one doesn't have that, just the button has an ID, 1 open, and this one has an ID of 1. IDs are critical in JavaScript because it tells the code exactly what we're going to be addressing. So when we click, we're going to go find class div class ID one where we've got this whole panel here. So the div is assigned the ID of one. And we're going to set the style of this div. So we're setting the CSS style to display none. And then we're going to get element by ID one open, which is not currently visible. You can't see it here. And we're going to change the style display to block, making it visible. So that's when we hit the minus sign is what's on our button. That's our button. So this is not currently visible. We're inside a panel. There's no background color on this one. Not currently visible. We have a button, type of button, ID of one open. That's, and you can see here we're making one open visible. And just when we open the page, the style will be set to display none. So this is the current style and we're going to change it to display block. So this panel is going to disappear and a button will appear here when I click that button. So this is the new button and if I click on this it will have one have the display block. It doesn't make the button here go away again. We could have added that but we're making the whole div visible or invisible. It's so powerful. So the other thing that we can do using buttons and that get element by ID, we can actually control the HTML. In the first example, we were controlling the style. In the second example, we're controlling the HTML. So we're going to look for time. Time is a paragraph. We're going to set it to the date function. This is actually getting the system date. So when we click this button, Beneath it, we'll have a paragraph where the time will display. So that is displaying <coughs> system information. Now the traditional thing that you do when you program for the first time in a new language is you say hello world. I am a big Doctor Who fan. You will get a few references to that throughout the course. So instead of saying hello world, I'm using the traditional river song Whovian greeting. So if you click the Whovian greeting button, it will change the contents of the paragraph with the ID of greet, and it will say, hello, sweetie. So you see three examples here of where we're using that document, and that document is the HTML document, get element by ID, and we're using that ID and we're t making a change. We're changing the style in the first example, and in the second example, 
since we've already displayed it, it won't display it again. We've got the time, and the third, we're just changing the HTML. You're going to do a similar exercise changing styles and contents using buttons.